Hi, I'm Lucas Annunziata, and this video is to showcase the Z-Tile tool that I've uploaded to Gumroad as a free resource uh, to, that helps uh, with sculpting tiling planes in ZBrush. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's jump right in and, and see what it does. Um, you, can, uh, you can sculpt tiling planes on it. That's crazy, I know, right? Um, so what we're going to do is, uh, once you've downloaded the, the tiling helpers tool thing here, uh, you just go into the Z tool folder, open the Z tile plane. Uh, you'll notice that there's two different sub tools here. Um, you've got the ZBrush plane tile, which you'll be working on. So you can just hide the other, the framer for right now. Uh, and one thing that I like to do, especially when I'm working on uh, square tiling textures, is to have my uh, document set to a square proportion. So 1024 by 1024 is usually pretty good. Uh, you can always up this later for when you're exporting the the, the document, um, but 1024 to start out, uh, and then I will uh, zoom out uh, using the zoom thing here. Uh, this is probably somewhere else on on your uh, interface. I've I've moved it to the top, uh, so you can see you know your entire document, uh, and then what we're going to do is going to turn off smooth, uh, and then. Uh, we're just going to uh, control D, the uh, subtool, till it gets to, you know, 400,000 active points here. Uh, we're going to go to whatever brush that you want to use uh, for sculpting a, a tiling plane. Uh, and then we're going to go to the curve uh, sub palette menu here. Uh, that's under brush. Uh, so that's up here, brush. Uh, I've got mine on the side. Uh, you go to curve and then set wrap mode to one, you know, and that's, that's pretty much it. And then you can just sculpt on this thing here. Um, so really the, the only thing that this Z tool itself does, uh, is I've optimized it a little bit to, to run a bit faster, uh, in that, uh, normally if you're just sculpting on a plane, uh, what, what will happen is you've got, um, your, your brush and you're doing your, uh, wrap mode, right? Uh, if you set that to one uh, and turn off the texture here, you'll see what's actually going on here uh, is that it's just, you know, it's, it's tiling it across this much larger plane, uh, but you're only seeing the smaller one here. And that's what this texture does, is it just allows you to focus on the area you're working on. Um, you can have that on or off. I mean, I, I typically have it on. And if you adjust this transparency level, uh, you can just hide the rest of the plane. Um, and you can, uh, I, I like to have a little bit of a buffer here. Uh, so that's why this is gray, but that, you know, that shows where it's wrapping onto the other side. So you have a little bit of, uh, uh of room there to, to see what's going on, uh, and to remember, uh, or, or as a reminder, if, uh, if you've remembered to put uh, the tiling mode on here. So one thing that happens often uh, is when I, I start up a, a new project or whatever, um, I'll, I'll just grab a brush, uh, we'll, we'll grab the inflate brush, and I'll go to sculpt. And uh, if you don't have this transparency area on, you might not realize that it's not tiling. I mean, it's pretty obvious, but sometimes you, you, you don't really notice as you're working. Um, so I like to have this little bit of extra area here. And again, you just go to the curve, wrap mode one, and there you go, it'll, it'll tile. Um, oh, but like I, like I was saying, the optimization here uh, is that you'll see that it's a little bit blurrier towards the outsides here. And that's just because there's uh, a lot less density in the plane towards the outside. So you're not wasting, uh, you know, triangles, uh, sculpting on an area that you know you won't actually end up using uh, because especially as uh, you add more and more active points to this thing uh, you know see it, it it ends up going a bit slower uh, and that's just that's both due to the amount of triangles you're sculpting on and that the the brush is duplicating itself around uh, four times uh, you know if, if you do rat mode two you know it goes even slower um, so that's uh, that, that's it for the uh, the plane that you actually sculpt on, and uh, this framer subtool here. All all I use this for 
is uh, you know I, I frame with it I, I press F or uh, you know this this guy here um, and what does that do that just shows me the the full extent of the uh, texture that I'm sculpting uh, again wrap mode one here uh, and this is you know the the final uh, bit you know there's no extra area and you can just kind of push things up and down to your heart's content um, and it just yeah it, may, it makes things a little bit easier for me you know I, I I don't know how much use this will be for anyone else but I figured I'd uh, throw it up and and see if it is helpful so uh, if it is uh, please let me know or if you have any questions or comments uh, you know th this isn't any sort of like revolutionary thing there, there's plenty of other tutorials on how they use wrap mode uh, but th this is just you know a little bit a little bit easier uh, for for me because it allows me to to frame the exact portion of the texture that I'm working on uh, and also gives me the option of uh, of seeing the uh, the extra bits and is a, a little bit more performant on my machine um, all right yeah thank you very much for checking out my video and uh, hope hope this is a good resource for you all right thanks